Hi everybody, so for my early childhood development class, we were asked to write a 1000 word plus essay. And this was about our observations that we witnessed through um, a video that we saw of just a kindergarten teacher, preschool teacher teaching versus what we wrote in the book. So my overall summary, it was really good. Um, I enjoyed how like one-on-one -on -one she was with her kids. She did not like exclude mostly like one student versus the other. She did a really good job of incorporating everybody. Um, she did a lot of activities on her carpet. So everybody just sat in a big circle so that way they could all see her and like she could see them and make them feel included. Um, and she read different books and she sang different songs with them, which I really appreciated because it wasn't like boring after another. She like wanted everybody to be included and yeah so in that aspect she did really good and then they another thing that i enjoyed is the fact that she um also did things that gave children advantages to succeed for example she would like have a calendar up and be like okay everybody what is this and then the kids would be like oh i know what this is this is a calendar and they'd be like yeah good job and then she gave them like advantages to succeed and feel better about themselves which also helped the kids like developmental like memory and be like oh yeah I remember this I remember this she also did that a lot with her songs um because around this stage from the book says is where children get their um like long-term sort of memory so like things now that like us as like adults know every single day like we can know the alphabet we know numbers like certain like aspects kids don't know yet so this is really really crucial for them to like be able to know what they're talking about, how to understand it, how to remember it, and she did a really good job. Um, and then another thing that she also did really, really well actually was there was one student in the class who seemed to have some sort of disability. It was never clear what it was, but she made him feel like exactly like one of the other students. She didn't make him feel like an outsider, but at the same time, if he needed help or if he like wasn't all there, there was another teacher there so somebody was always looking after the kids and it wasn't like she dropped everything just to pay attention to him which i really really appreciate and it's definitely good for the kid because he's gonna have a hard time socially because of his disability so why make it worse at a young age by like pointing out the like the elephant in the room instead of being like okay yes we are all equal we are all good because when they have that other kids will be like oh yeah he's just like us he just has a like special needs which i really appreciated so then afterwards we were asked to do four different connections that we found from the video to the text and the first one we were talking about fairness and how between the ages of i think it's like three and five there is a level of fairness that kids get so it's kind of like you ever see like videos of like toddlers like being like oh they got 20 presents and i got 19 that's not fair when the 19 presents were way nicer than the 20 ones that's what they view so i really liked how in the classroom she made it like okay you can do this turn and then the next person goes to this one so that way they all felt like taken like they, they felt heard and they had different types to like shine and be like, oh yay, this is my turn. Okay, now it's your turn. And then after this person goes, it's back to my turn. So that way no like feelings were hurt. The second connection that I made was talking about meeting the needs of all children and exactly what I mentioned before with the disabilities and how it is very easy for a teacher to be caught up with one specific student who needs more help than others and she did a really really good job as previously mentioned about making him feel included but if he needed some extra like help not ghosting the other children in the process the third connection that i made was talking about long hours in the daycare and what i didn't even realize was um daycare can be really scary for kids because if both of their parents work they're going to be there for the majority of the day. So going from being with your parents all the time to them having to go back to work and dropping you with a bunch of kids that you don't necessarily know can be super, super scary. So what I appreciated that she did was she made it fun and made daycare something that kids want to go, not forcing them like they have to go. So that's why I enjoyed she did a lot of like books and songs and she just incorporated a bunch of things throughout the day 
so that way the kids didn't feel like daycare was a chore, but instead, she, like, she made them feel like it was a fun place to go. And then the fourth connection that I learned, we were talking about the cognitive development um, in children ages three through five. This is another one that I previously mentioned before with learning certain things such as the elephant, elephant alphabet, number lines, like different things that like us as adults, like we just know. I really like how she gave chances for the kids to succeed, for the kids to be like, hey, I know what that is. So that way it can help strengthen and development their overall knowledge. Now, my opinion is that the video overall, for the most part, was really, really good. There was a couple of times in the video that, like, she did a couple of things that I was like, eh. Like, there's this one student named Hannah that she, like, called on a lot of times, but I don't know her backstory. I don't know anything with that. That was just my only, like, kind of, like, bone to pick. But overall, super good, and I'm really happy that I got to view it.